What's going on you guys? Aaron here from Departures Capital. Thank you for tuning into our afternoon live stream. We're just on time. Actually, we're a little bit early. So we're going to be talking about what did we buy today? Yes, yes, we're going to talk about what did we buy today. We're going to be recapping the markets um, to see how we're doing in the last hour and a half of trade. And I must tell you guys, we're seeing some red. We're definitely seeing some red. Um, what's up, Aaron Talmadge? What is Aaron's sell mark for ACB? What's up, Joe? What's up, Lee? Hello, Yolanda. So you know what we got to do first, guys. We always, we always, always have to do something at the start of every stream, and that is post the stream into our Discord group. So we are 18 subscribers away from 13K. So anybody new to the stream, get us to 13K. Um, so. Just quickly gonna post this and then we'll get straight into what the heck did we buy and what the heck's going on with the stock markets. Discord. So give me two seconds, guys. What's up, Papa Doc, Kyle, Michael? Should get a couple more people once we post this. We almost got 400 people in our Discord group. We're currently at, let's see how many. 384 people so 16 people away from 400 people in the discord group and uh, 18 subscribers away from 13k so that's what I like to see guys I'll just quickly post a link to the discord group in the chat there and then uh, yeah let's do it so you're early you said 1130 disappointed what did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake with my scheduled stream? I thought I put 2.30. <laughs> First, we got to do a quick shot of tea. When the market's red, when times are tough, got to do some tea. Oh, I guess Pacific time. Yes, yes, that's right. Good stuff. So we gotta quickly do a shot of tea. I just freshly brewed this tea. We've got some matcha in here and we've got some oolong tea in here from Guangzhou, but it's actually from the northern part of China, the uh, Yunnan region. <laughs> For anybody who knows their tea, I like my tea. It's got a really good flavor to it. So anyways, we're seeing the, oh, we just saw the indexes make a little, pulled their socks back up a little bit. When I was looking at the markets, we were down about 0.5.6 of a percent. So I think we just saw a little pop. It's been, uh, it's been a shaky day, kind of all over the place. So uh, yeah, let's take a quick look at the one day chart and then we'll tell you guys what, what were we buying today? Because we did make a couple buys, a couple sells. And yeah. All right, guys, so we've got 50 people in here. That's enough. We're going to start to talk about our stuff. Um, make sure to smash that like button also. Smash that like button. Support the stream. I see we've got 19 likes. So anywho, let's talk about the stocks that we sold first. We'll talk about the stocks that we bought. That's right. DG slots. <laughs> this tea's hot, though. This tea's really hot, freshly brewed. I don't know if you were in here when I was talking about what kind of tea it is, but it's, it's some good stuff. This tea's on point today. What's up, Jordan? So anyways, guys, the first, no, it's not CBD infused, but I do have the CBD here. I'm thinking about, yeah, you know what? We'll just put a little bit in. I'm just gonna put a little, a quarter of a dropper I usually only take CBDs. I, I stop taking them in the morning. It's a little, it's a little potent, and if you put too much, I get a little bit too relaxed. I like to be a little more alert for the streams, but put about a quarter of a dropper in here. But it's great for after workouts. Great, great, great for after workouts. So, anyways, first stock that we sold, because that's the title of this video. Uh, First National. I decided to sell. I decided to pull the trigger on First National. 
Um, financials in general, I'm not I'm not bullish on right now. So, dumped our remaining shares of First National. Did pretty good on it. Made 10% plus dividends. I believe held on to it for at least basically a year. So maybe 15%. So decent one year trade. And I'm just like, you know what? I can put that money to work elsewhere. So after selling First National, I bought some uh, Extend Care for a higher yield. So I actually increased the yield. It's all good, Scooter Magooter. We're just talking about my tea and what, what stocks we bought and sold. So First National was yielding, I believe it was about six point, what was it, six point, uh, let's see here. 6.2, so we increased the yield by a little bit, uh, swapping First first National for Extendicare, and then we also picked up some more Northwest, Northwest Healthcare Properties. So North, Northwest Healthcare Properties, when I bought it on the day, it was down 1%. Now it's managed to recover, so that's a bonus. These stocks are not day trading stocks, but it is yielding 6.8%, which is a little bit higher than First National, so I figured, what the heck, sell financials, buy two different stocks in a more defensive sector that I like a little bit more. So that was the first trade of the day. The second trade, you guys might find a little more interesting. Uh, PDC, so this was an ETF that I held on to for a while. Didn't really do much, pretty much just mirrors the Canadian dividend index and it's about 40% financials so that's the reason why I sold it it's it's either 25 or 40% I don't know exactly the number but heavily weighted uh, financials and it also holds some I forget top holding is TransAlta which went up like crazy today cuz Brookfield Infrastructure Partner or sorry Brookfield Asset Management just invested 250 million dollars into uh, TransAlta. So you guys can see the stock pop. No, it might have been $750 million. Stock's up quite substantially. $750 million into TransAlta's clean energy transition. So I sold PDC. PDC is actually down on the day, but it's yielding about 4.5%. So I took that cash, traded it for uh, Northwest Healthcare Properties as well. So bought up some more of that, and we added one new stock to the portfolio, so that's Brookfield Renewable Energy Partners. Although I do feel like this stock is a little bit high right now. This is not the right one, it's BEP, BEP, BEP dot underscore U. So, although the stock is yielding 6.46%, so for a combined yield of about 6.7% over those two investments, um, yeah, so things are looking good. I've increased the dividend yield. And the other stocks we bought, we bought three other stocks. Zach, you don't know my fan base, nor have I seen you here before ever. I don't mean to be mean, but like, uh, you don't know my channel. <laughs> so, anyways, um, now we're talking about copper miners. <laughs> So I made a video about copper miners over the past couple days, and uh, let's take a look here. So I bought three of the copper picks that I was talking about. I bought London Mining, I bought Turquoise Hill Resource, oh shoot, I bought Turquoise Hill Resources, Copper Mountain Mining. You know, I understand you guys are. I understand you guys are here for the cannabis stocks. We're going to be taking a look at the cannabis stocks, but honestly, the goal for my channel was never to be 100% cannabis stocks because when the industry changes, when things change, you will be happy that you know more about the markets than just the cannabis stocks. Believe me. Believe me. I'm in this for the long term, and the cannabis sector is here to stay, but 
there's more to investing than just cannabis stocks. So yeah. So anyways, I'm just gonna talk about these three quick companies that I bought and then we can uh, we can basically talk about whatever you want. So might be a little bit boring, but I just want I like to provide insight about all these different companies. But anyways, thank you for tuning in, Zach. Like I said, I don't mean to be mean. And uh, I'm just saying like, that's my goal for the channel. So maybe it's your first time here. Maybe you just came here for the cannabis stocks, which is totally understandable. That's in the title of the video. So no worries. Um, just, just, uh, yeah. So I just want to simply take a look at the charts real quick for these companies. Um, London Mining is the only stock that pays a dividend, almost 2%, but I like the pullback we've seen. Turquoise Hill Resources looks extremely cheap right now, cheaper than almost it's ever been. 52 week low of a buck 92, 52 week high of a buck 420. And as you guys can see, this stock, I talked about this in the video and I did buy it. Willing to add more to it, but I just, I wanna take a position just as I feel these, it's just so cheap. Like it's so cheap. Now remember guys, always do your research, always do your due diligence. Don't buy these stocks because I said I bought them. Always, always look into them. Read the, go on their website, read the investor report, etc., etc. Read their financials. I like the charts for Copper Mountain Mining. It's making that double cup and handle pattern. And it looks like it could potentially go over a buck. So... Copper Mountain's looking all right at 99 cents. But anyways, um, let me get to the comments. I appreciate an insight into other industries outside of MJ. London is making profits, shared is losing money. But if nickel prices go up and cobalt will do extremely well. Aaron, like investing in old people's care. I love investing in old people's care. That's what we were buying today. Extended care, Northwest Healthcare properties, Chartwell Retirement Residences. Sierra Senior Living, <laughs> those are my favorite stocks. Um, here in UC Virus, let me straighten out the newbie. Hey Zach, what's up you guys? Um, can't watch now, just say hi from Hawaii. Nevada Tucker, you so lucky. New Jersey called off the vote. Okay guys, so now we'll get into the canvas stocks. <laughs> Cause uh, I'm talking about boring stuff. I know guys, I talk about boring stuff that makes money. You know, it's it's really boring and it just it makes money, but that's the that's the thing, right? Sometimes the boring stuff just makes money. What's more exciting though? Exciting stuff or making money? I think I think making money is more exciting than boring than uh <laughs> exciting stuff. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> now, making tacos or eating tacos? Wink, wink. <laughs> Money and tea. Gobble, gobble. Aleph is a buy. We've been talking about Aleph all day. Aleph finally around two bucks. Oh, I'm just like, I'm so tempted, guys. Oh, look at Aleph sell down 9.95%. Liberty Health Sciences. Yep, no, I know. That is, a, that is something to consider about turquoise resources. The fact that they're in Mongolia. And that is why the stock is down. But... I'm okay with risking. I was gonna put more into Turquoise Hill, but that's why I decided to go with Turquoise Hill, Copper Mountain, and London Mining. I wanted diversification, I wanted a smaller cap one, and I wanted um, a fairly well-known one that pays a dividend. So I'm happy with those three picks. Obviously, uh, Turquoise Hill being the riskiest of the three. So. Can America Brands, biggest gainer on the day. Oscan's finally doing something. Holy smokes. 
Kronos is up 6%. GLH is showing some signs of life. How about that rally in ACV though? Medmen's doing even better though. Medmen's up 2.5%. It's nice to see Medmen in the green. I want to see T God get above five bucks so I can get rid of it though. <sighs> if I sold T God, I'd just uh, I don't know what I'd do with it. Just throw it into a raw cannabis maybe. But I'd at these prices I'd be a little bit uh, excuse me iffy. I'd be averaging up. Be averaging up. Maybe I'd just keep it in cash. I don't know. That's a tough one right now. It's a super tough one. Invest in T. I'll invest in a T company. Let's see if they've got any. Publicly traded T companies. <laughs> oh, that's right. David's T. You're right. I want to invest in Luck You though. Hong Kong T. No, I'm just kidding. Let's take a look at David's T. David's T. Oh my gosh, they actually have a stock. That's cool. What about. Oh my gosh, Urban T. We just looked at Urban T today, guys. Urban T makes like. Urban T makes a bunch of chemicals. Urban tea makes like, what is it? Renovation materials for the bathroom, manufacturing materials for trains. Urban tea looks like a pretty cool company though. Tea God. <laughs> tea Vanna. That's not actually a stock, is it? I was gonna say, what the hell? <laughs> What's this one do? What's up, Tom? Good afternoon. You're the 99th person in here. I want to I want a research-based biotech company that's developing new strains of tea. I want those tea companies. Driving home in traffic back downtown LA from crappy Oshawa right now. Got you on the iPad. What's going on, Clay? Thank you for uh, joining our VIP trade program. Hope you liked the report. Yeah, smash that like button, guys. Um, yeah, we're on to something now. We're on to some T. We're on to, we're on to the new, the next hottest sector. You know, that's going to be T. All jokes aside, though. Let's take a look at the charts for David's T. What's your sell price on ACV? Excelsior Mining. All right, I love I love the mining request, Tom. As a joke, we're just gonna quickly take a look at David's T. Thirty-five million dollar market cap. Um, you know, Departures Capital is permanently bullish on T. <laughs> this is the worst looking chart I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm sorry, David's T. I can't look at this. We're permanently bullish on T, but when it comes to David's T, um, that's a no-go. Anyways. Chart's bad. So, okay. Let's take a look at Tom's pick. Um, M-I-N. M I N Excelsior Mining. Thank you for this pick. I'll be adding it to the list. I'll do my research on it. I love new picks. Love new picks. I don't know if you were here, how long you were here, Tom, but I didn't tell the peoples. I bought some more safe at like 50, mid 50s. I forget exactly where it was. And I also bought uh, Turquoise Hill Resources. London Mining and Copper Mountain Mining. Is it Copper Mountain? Copper Mountain Mining? C something something C? Yeah, so. Liking Copper right now. 
Although don't don't get me wrong, guys. There's downside risks to copper right now, global growth. But I'm bullish on commodities for the next five to ten years. Yes, sir, Jay. Look at Barrick run, almost nineteen bucks a share. Chart looks interesting. Although looks like that's a tough one. The stocks performed really well recently in this environment too. When a lot of like the other miners, like let's compare the charts to London mining. Fairly similar, although it's outperformed recently. London mining's underperformed this one by quite a while or quite a bit. Let's take a look at. See if we can find this CMMC. That's it. CMMC. CMMC is performed, outperformed this one in some cases, but Copper Mountain. That's right, Jay. I just bought Copper Mountain today. If you're in, if you, uh, if you just tuned in or whatever. Water at 350, getting closer. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I want to see. Let's go, <laughs> guys. I told you. I told you water's going back down. 4 million shares issued at 340. Like, If I don't buy it when it goes to 3, 330, 340 this time, I'm all talk and no action. That's exactly true. They're losing cash though, but Q4 says it was profitable on TD, which is where it's DT or Namaste. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, David's T went down for the past like six years. So it's hard to say. B2 gold. I wouldn't invest in David's T. I've been into David's T. I'd, I'd, it's too mainstream for me. I need to go. T I need to get that stuff right from China. Like if it doesn't have a bunch of Chinese writing on the package, I'm not down with it. Unless it's from Costco. They have an all right tea. Gotta look for a new tea company. So hit me up with those tea picks, guys. All I did today was add more into James Wagner. Nice, nice. Free to play if they get a deal. But David's T is in tons of malls. Oh man, we'll take one more look at the charts for David's T. Sorry guys, to get distracted here. I don't know, man. They've got like, a, they've, their business model is all right. I don't know if you guys invest into David's T. I don't mean to talk bad about a company. It's probably, that's like a no-no. That's like a no-no for me. I don't want to offend anyone, but I should just make my own tea company. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> what the heck is that? YM champ. What the heck is that? <clears throat> Their tea sucks, their stock sucks, Aaron, you suck, <laughs> Tommy, you're all right. <laughs> Steve, where the hell have you been? Steve's been <laughs> trading ACB. He buys 10, he buys 200,000 shares, waits for it to go up one cent and then sells it. That's that's how Steve that's how Steve rocks it on the markets. He's making that one cent swing trade. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, did add some Freeport last week, but that's it for copper plays. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm just messing with you. Um, Peace out, Tom. Would like, what would you like to see on your T Orient symbols? Uh, 
I don't know, man. It's a tough question. Apple, some IG news. Ski, what? I appreciate the cannabis stock talk, but make no mistake about it. Your insight into other industries is a big bonus. Thank you, Star Maker. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to, like, I understand that there's so many of you guys interested in the cannabis space, and there's still lots more money to be made, but there's more to investing than just in cannabis. There's so much more to investing than just in cannabis. So <clears throat> if you're a perma bull for the cannabis industry, it's good to have diversification when the sector tanks, so then you can sell some of those other stocks and pour it into cannabis again when the price is right. I think right now, in terms of cannabis and how it's valued, it's a little, uh, valuations are a little lofty and the market's a little shaky. So that's just my opinion. This is true. People got to get ready for gold and silver runs or copper and nickel. Exactly. Wait, just just wait and see, guys. I'll see you when it happens. Like, and I'm, and I'm sure you guys will hopefully still be tuning into my channel. But when commodities run, I'll, I'll, that's all I'm going to be talking about. And we'll, of course, we'll keep talking about cannabis. But when copper and gold and everything else is trending, I just can't wait to say... I told you so. So we'll just bookmark this stream. Um, they don't need to buy, but keep some on the watch list for when prices start to surge. Yeah, I agree. That's true too. One year ACB 24 bucks. Holy smokes, that'd be awesome. Please. Major partnership? I think it could happen. Thank you. DG Slots knows knows what's what's up. Like he knows the routine and he knows I'm slacking. Bam. Link in the link in the chat Discord group. Uh, we're almost at 400 people. What are some good copper and gold from the TSX? Alrighty. So I'll go over that. Feel free to message me also. If you want some of my watch list, if you want some of my watch list, guys. Oh, shoot. What's that company that Tom recommended? I forget. If you want that watch list, I can simply just click here, right? Download portfolio, current view, and then I can post that in the Discord group too. So I'll just save it. If you want my copper watch list for 2019, also, I have a gold miner portfolio. And these are all US stocks, so you asked about TSX stocks. So let's see, that's Canadian cannabis. Weed stocks, one second. PM miners. So these are the precious metal miners that I'm watching right now. Um, so we're seeing, bam, Royal Nickel Corporation head up 11.5%. I'm so happy for Max because uh, He's been hurting on FST and he needs that nice run for RNX. But Yamana Barrick, First Majestic Silver, Argonaut Gold, Kinross Alamos, Gold Corp, First Money Gold, Endeavor Silver. And uh, if you want to know which ones do we actually own, own Yamana Barrick, First Majestic, Kinross Alamos, Gold Corp, First Mining, Endeavor Silver, Weed and Precious Metals, and Fortuna Silver Mines. So we've got quite a few holdings in the in the uh, precious metal mining sector. So that's it for the precious metal miners. Now I want to look at my defensive portfolio. See how we're doing on the day. No problem. That's an awesome question, Axel. You know, um, I'm just about to release a video, hopefully soon, about a interesting app called Weeble. A lot of other YouTubers have reviewed it. I'm gonna review it too. I, I was on their app today and it was pretty, uh, it's actually pretty impressed. So I haven't used eToro though. I know investing.com advertises eToro like crazy. 
So a few other interesting stocks, uh, unfortunately not related to cannabis, but we'll just get a look into it. Centric Health Corporation. This one is a uh, penny stock trading for 32 cents. We'll just look at the, uh, does anyone trade in TFSA? XAU. I've heard about that company before. One second. Which one are we talking about? Gold money. Oh, that's a totally different business model. Don't they? Uh, financial tech company. Precious Metal Payment Network. That's a pretty cool one, but that's it's a little different. It's like fintech in the gold mining sector. Drug retail sector. Two business specialty, pharmacy, as well as surgical and medical centers. So this is uh, basically they do drug retail for retirement funds, or sorry, retirement homes and all that kind of stuff. That's one I kind of like, but other than that, Chartwell, Amira, Sierra Senior Living, Northwest Healthcare, C all these senior care stocks, the boring ones that pay dividends, the ones that I like, are some of the only stocks in the green on a red day. So I just I'm gonna keep talking about this. Brookfield Real Estate, boring old Bell, holding on to its pants today. <clears throat> Extend a care in the red. That's pretty much it. Yes, but not one person has been convicted and they're t talking about people with 100 trades a month. Oh, okay. Is a gold-based credit card. Also stores crypto and precious metals. That's pretty cool. That sounds ridiculous about people going, CRA going after people who trade, day trade within TFSA. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, shoot. One more stock I wanted to talk about, Gluskin Chef. We own this stock too, but unfortunately still not break even on it, even after the 28% run that it had today. Um, so the company got bought out today. <clears throat> this this stock was ha had a crazy yield. At nine bucks, it was like over 10%. And I almost added to my position, but I wasn't bullish on the financial services sector. I think it's a dying industry, but still yielding 8.9% after jumping 28% today. So made the majority of the money back on that thing and I'll get rid of it. <laughs> Bear gold over 19 bucks up 3.87%. Wowzers, precious metals are killing it today, guys. This is exactly what I like to see. So we're gonna look at a few more things. It's currently power hour and then we're gonna head out. <clears throat> Whatever, I'll just do a couple a week. I think you're fine, man. Don't take my advice though. Read the disclaimer. Actually, I shouldn't have said that. Don't take my advice. You gotta stream into four o'clock more. Good, I got quite some time before I got near one mil. Into the close. I will do it one day, but don't forget, I gotta shoot the market minute video because I like to mix it up in the channel. Recently, I've been doing two live streams just because I enjoy live streaming way more than shooting other videos. <laughs> T, what? No, it's way more fun. But some people obviously like to tune in. So you enjoy something that literally takes zero work. Hey, Jay, this takes time, okay? Time's money. <laughs> Time's money. It doesn't take zero work, man. Come on. Give me some credit. <laughs> To design the thumbnail. 
I know, Jay, but you don't see how how long it took me to build this, like, making zero money for, like, five months. Like, absolutely not a cent for five months. It's all about getting the momentum started. But I can see how it looks easy. How long... It how long it took you to hide the futon with the green screen? <laughs> took me a while. It took me like six months. <laughs> no, I didn't. What's up, Brandon? Thanks for tuning in. You're like the, oh, you were the hundredth people and then five people left. You were the hundredth person. No, what's up? Tell me about it. Smash that like button. How's that, uh, how's that cannabis portfolio watch list going? It's got a bunch of companies in there, I hope. Share the new Apple release. What's the new Apple release? Yeah, let's talk about it. Thank you, Brandon, for <laughs> letting me know. That's good to know. If you want any other watch lists, I've got a boatload of stuff. Like I've got uh, copper watch lists. As we just started investing more into copper, got defensive stocks, utility stocks, gold mining stocks. Uh, what else we got? Utility companies. Let me know. Uh, what else? Let's see what they say about Apple. Apple wants to sign you up for digital newsstand. Introducing Apple Card, a new kind of credit card created by Apple. You know what guys, that's all right too. Cause uh, this tea is- Like many of you. This tea is pretty strong. Okay, next song. <clears throat> Excuse me, my med men position just went green. That's exactly what we like to hear. I think combined average, I'm in med men for around four bucks. So, med men's definitely in the green now. Apple wants to sign you up for a digital newsstand with News Plus. Introducing Apple Card, a new kind of credit card created by Apple. Built on simplicity, transparency, privacy. <laughs> Wait a sec. <laughs> Should I try it? Here we'll do a we'll do a five minute test to see if the stream will pop, and then otherwise I'm out of here. And I don't know why nothing is loading. Okay. <laughs> I should I should approach David's honestly. Oh my gosh, you're a friggin' genius, Jordan Muller. I should approach David's T and literally say, Hey guys, I'll talk about your stock. You guys are at 52 week lows. Like what, what, how much lower can it go? You need, you guys need some, uh, some investment <laughs> and I'll just drink David's tea all day. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Okay. One sec. <sighs> Thank you, man. We can look at the possible low and I'll get them to pay me in stock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, they've got a tiny market cap, like a tiny, tiny market cap. The stock's gone down for the last like five years. So, all right, so uh, yeah, live streaming. 
Let's see here. What did we buy? Let's see. Apple. Apple News. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hopefully it pops. If I, get, if I get like an extra couple hundred viewers, Brandon, it's all because of you. <laughs> Tell them that to, to get a deal with CBD Extractor for CBD. Bye, bye, bye. David's T is T. Can't stay but dropping in to say what's up. Thank you, Josh. You sneaky sob. Imagine this is the turnaround for David's T. Is it only traded on the NASDAQ though? Oh, that's it. David's T, DT. $35 million market cap, free Apple phone giveaway. <laughs> Change it back. <laughs> Why, what's happening? Yeah, look. <laughs> Pew, Apple news. We just lost 20 more people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. We'll give it another two minutes. If no one joins, then... Oh my gosh, okay, we just dropped a second. Okay. <laughs> what did we buy? Question mark. It's all good, bro. Don't worry. It's all about trying new things, right? <laughs> People are like, forget about Apple. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Apple's down 2.2%. I don't know. Apple's done all right though. Recently, Apple's done okay. Bounced from 140 to one, over 180. It's it's fine. I mean, we're we're close to the end of the stream, so don't worry about it. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Honestly, it was worth a shot. Might as well try it out. Uh, let's see here. This is the last thing I'm looking at. Then I'm going to bounce, guys. I want to shoot that last video and get the heck out of here and ha actually maybe have some time to relax. Today I shot... Oh my gosh. Today I did two live streams. I'm shooting one more video and then I shot four videos for my course. So it was a seven video day. Quite a long day. And then I made eight or nine trades. So it was a good Monday, solid Monday, that's for sure. ACB closing in the green. Oh, maybe closing in the green. We'll see. But I've got this crazy link. I don't know what it's about, but if you click on it, it might just bring you to our Discord group. So <laughs> join that Discord group. We've got almost Almost 400 people. We're at three, 388, 388 people. So, so anyways, that's it, guys. The markets have been absolutely all over the place today. We opened in the we opened in the red, dipped down a bit, pushed back up. Now we're treading water at 2,800 on the S and P. The last thing I'm going to look at is the charts and then we're heading out. So game lover kid. What's up? Never seen you here before. Thank you for tuning in. I love new people. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. We're really close to 13 K. So I just want to, I'd love to make it to 13 K today. What are we at? 16 more people. 
Anyways, last chart of the stream. S&P 500 treading water at 2800. So we'll see what happens if we uh, close in the green or uh, we sell off a little bit more. Today was completely a mixed bag. Like today, the stock market was like a really emotional girlfriend. <laughs> you know, up, down, up, down. So. That's it for today, guys. I'm gonna post the link one more time, last time, to the Discord group. Feel free to join. <laughs> the market. Bam. Okay. Um, what's up, James? Yeah. So we'll make sure to contact David's tea. See if we can get a sponsor. At the end of the day, if the only thing I get is free tea. I'm okay with that too. Cause you guys know I'm all about my tea. So my hair's getting all messed up. All right guys. So that's it for today. ACB's in the green. Thank you for tuning in. Oh shoot. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Peace.